And I want to bring in ABC's Will Gans for more on all of this. Well, there were obviously these big moments, but the ceremony overall had a bit more of a muted tone than shows in the past. Was that by design? Did that have to do with what happened last year and some of the changes made? Well, I think what the truth is is that they selected the perfect host to come back and kind of address all of this stuff. Gerard mm -hmm. Carmichael, who's a comedian, was the host for the night. And you saw him at the top of Chris's piece there. But he has a signature deadpan, and he was not afraid to jump in and address the controversy right from the top, you know? Um, but yeah, a, a more subdued uh, step back, uh, but steps in the right direction. They added six black members to the HFPA, and, um, you know, it was nice to see everybody back in the same room and, and the show being televised after last year's break. It sure was. Uh, let's talk about some of the big moments, and starting with best song, have to go there, Not Too Not Too from RRR won best original song, and it beat out Rihanna, Lady Gaga, and your beloved Taylor Swift. For those who don't know, Will is a little bit obsessed. Are you okay, first of all? You know, I cried all night long, but uh, <laughs> I'll allow it. Not to, not to. I was listening to the song on my way in this morning. It is an incredible song, and history was made with that win. It's the first Asian song to ever win a Golden Globe, so that's really this cool. Show. The Prime Minister of India was tweeting about the win and how it's a celebration it's for that country. Uh, but it was a little awkward because Rihanna does not go to many award shows, and she was at the table right there mm -hmm. when her name was not, not called. called. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, looking ahead to the Oscars. I'm sure Rihanna, Gaga, and my girl Taylor will probably be nominated for that, too. So maybe they'll have another chance. And Rihanna had her best, you know, appreciative, congratulatory, smiling She face. was still shining bright like a diamond, uh, that's for sure. There you go. Well done. <laughs> uh, Angela Bassett also won the Golden Globe for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And this was a moment... Um, not only did she dedicate her speech to Chadwick Boseman, which of course was a moment, but she made history with this win. She made history. She's the first character from a Marvel movie to be nominated and win, which feels crazy because there are like 10 million Marvel right. movies and the caliber of acting and writing in those movies has been good for so long. So to see her do that was really cool. And it's also almost 30 years exactly since she won her first Golden Globe for What's Love Got to Do With It, playing Tina Turner. And she has not aged a day in those 30 years. I know, years. what moisturizer is he, she using? Exactly. Angela, we need the secret. And the biceps are still looking <laughs> so good, girl. Yeah, that was not just for the role of Tina Turner, apparently. Right. <laughs> um, and a lot of people, of course, are talking about Jennifer Coolidge. She won for uh, White Lotus. Yep. Obviously, Angela Bassett brought a lot of the audience to tears, uh, but so did Jennifer Coolidge. What happened there? That was a really cool moment, actually. So we know whenever she's on stage, she's going to give us something to laugh about. But she gave us a really, really genuine and heartfelt thank you for this renaissance in her career. She thanked Mike, Mike White, who's the creator of White Lotus, uh, for, for bringing her back into the zeitgeist. I was just doing a little bit of digging. Her name has been mentioned on TikTok half a billion times. So if that doesn't indicate that people are obsessed with her and love her, you know, I don't know what does. You know, for such a long time, women over the age of, of 40 and even 30 were saying, you know, you hit a certain age and in Hollywood, then it's like you become extinct. So nice to see so many powerful women in uh, that age group up on stage last ladies night. Ladies night in Hollywood, no <laughs> doubt. Yeah. Will Gans, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.